Along the coast of the Pacific Northwest, we're in beautiful downtown Vancouver, home of the Canucks. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your star players only play a third of the time. Do they ever make a contribution? Though? Well, you need them, Doc, to make those big contributions. Star players are a real important cog to the success of your team because if you don't have a lot of them, you're not going to have much success. Henrik's versatility, Doc, is what makes him a special player. Look for him to be front and center throughout this game. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Jacob Markstrom arrived in Vancouver in a trade which took longtime goalie Roberto Luongo the other way to Florida. Trained in Sweden, a second-round choice of those Florida Panthers. John Gibson gets the start. Native of Pittsburgh was only 20 when he broke into the NHL in the Stanley Cup playoffs with the Ducks. Like a lot of goalies, good size, 6'3", 2'10". And they are ready for the opening face-off, and so are we. Horvat's a good face-off man, ready for Vancouver. Gets laughs, ready to draw for Anaheim. Fires a shot, turned away with a stick. Propelled to Roussel. Slid to Tanef. Puck grab, they've got it ready. Laid on to Horvat. Back and forth they go between the points. Gets it back. Onside. Shoots. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. That was a good challenge. Better stop. Play stop, so I turn to Eddie, and he points to Ray. You're on, man. The key to this game is who's going to be able to move the puck out of their end the quickest. Both teams can forecheck really well. Okay, Ray, thank you. Critical win of the draw. Very important steal for him. And in flight over the line. Chip to Besser. What a ripper! Save there. Trying to go to Lindholm. Terrific determination by Roussel. Shoots one. Waffle boarded. And now it's directed to Raquel. Fires. Oh, and he misses. Came close with that shot, but just off the target. Nice save with the glove. Fires in front. Pulls the trigger. Save with the pad. Got to clear it. The defenders caught a break here. Lots of pressure in their end of the ice, but the goalie freezes the puck, and they can catch their breath. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Just under six minutes played in the first. Nothing on the scoreboard has changed. Still a pair of zeros. Lost possession there. On to Silverberg. Oh, a save there. Pass attempt to Stetcher. Looking to Levo. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Fires. The pad came in handy that time. Anaheim's moving the puck up the wing. Turned a shot on net. A strong pad stop there. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Vancouver's got a face-off win. Stetcher's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. The Canucks with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Points it. Puck leaves the zone, and so play goes back to mid-ice. Great moves in the zone. And a save. Tries to get it on net, and yet another save. How does he do that? The pucks keep coming, and he turns them away. Got in front of another one. Sail, 
nails it. Slides it to the point. Corral. And freezes play for the whistle. Markstrom's positioning has been sensational early in this game. The Ducks with a clean win on the draw. Snapping a pass to Lindholm. Propelled to Grant. It's dumped in. Has it back deep. Vancouver's cutting the ice at center. And he dumps it in. Slid to Grant. It's dumped in. Back in his defensive end to get it. Gains the zone. Shoots. Window was open. He missed the curtain. Laid on to Erickson. Lots on that to Edler. Pass to the slot. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Let's it go. No! Oh, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. With a shot. Had it away. Puck collected. Gotten quickly back. The Canucks in their own end lug that puck along. Solid work there by Fowler. Looks over his options from the corner. Shoots. That shot came from nowhere. Play is offside. Back to center ice. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. The Ducks got that face-off win, now what? And he gains the zone. Makes that play deep. Chip to Pedersen. And the puck exits the zone, breaking up the play. Has it in his own end. Passing one off now to Levo. Pitching this one to Pedersen. Good place to shoot from, and a save. Clean win on the draw. Last minute of the they will get a breather shortly, but what will happen next? Good save there. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Driving in from no man's land. Great poke check. Rister. And on top of that, another great stop. He was in control on both of those saves. Period number one has been completed. Neither team got scoring. Some chances, no success. Hey fans, great tickets are still available to our next home game. Please visit the box office. Markstrom's enormous win. save has kept his team in it. We have ended the period and he gets a rest. And so do we as we head to break. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? Both goaltenders docked in that first period were excellent. It might be a while before we see our first goal. 
No scoring in the first. Let's see if we can find a goal here in the second. On to Lindholm. Fires point blank save. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. That pass along the boards. Possession in the zone. Skates it behind the net. To Lindholm. Skates out with it. To Getzlaff. Picked up by the defense. Brings a shot. Good pad save. Score! Finally, a multitude of shots and our first goal. Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. Vancouver's gotten a one-goal lead and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. Anaheim's got it off the draw at center. Goes back deep for it. In with it now. Shoots one. Wonderful stop. Is right behind the net now. Using the point. He's got it. On through the corner. Brings a shot. Score! Tana's decision was pretty easy. This low in a slot. Just snap it home. Gibson's not able to get his glove on that. It beats him low to the glove side. The Canucks have built a two-goal lead now. Perhaps on this faceoff, they can make it three before the end of the second period, at least. And they've won the faceoff. Scored by number eight, Chris Tanner. Assisted by number 53, Scooped up by Edler. The Canucks are driving it from the wing. Four minutes, six seconds. Shoots. Say. Score! It's off somebody in front. No problem. It's a good goal. Goalies want to shut down the bottom of the net and dare you to beat them up top. He doesn't cover this one and it gets him down low. Vancouver's got a 3-0 lead. They've had the puck almost the entire time. What's going on here? The Canucks control from the faceoff. By number 17, Josh Lebo. Propelled to Pedersen. Brock Besser, and by number 23, Alexander Edler. Talk is thrown to Edler. Five minutes. Slid to Levo. Through the corner. Right to the point. Flings it. They score! Four goals in a row for the same team. The element of surprise with the wrist shot. Get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. I always thought the five hole was as good a spot to shoot as any. The goaltender can't really Gibson shut it down Gibson. as the puck squirts through. John Gibson replaced by number 30, Ryan Miller. Vancouver's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. They've won the faceoff. Scored by number 17, Josh Lebo. Assisted Laid on to Raquel. And by number 23, a shot. Great save in close. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. Defense. 
defensive zone win. Chip to Pedersen. Steps in from the neutral zone. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. Takes it right back. Right next to the line. Shoots. Solid glove save. Anaheim's players seem to have given up here. It's like they've mailed the rest of this game in. I don't like what I see. I know the coaches don't like it. And they've been in their players a lot. But it almost seems like they've given up at this point. Carries it on in from center. Not a free puck now. On to Levo. That's how you break up a play. A shot. Blockered away. Terrific determination by Getzlaff. Puck covered, whistle blown. Markstrom's blocker save is a pretty routine one. He's in good position and he deflects this out of danger. A little over eight minutes still showing on the clock this period. Vancouver's just running up the score now. They have a four-goal advantage. Taken over again. Good quick poke check there. Vancouver is along the wing at center ice. Canes that offensive line. Let's it go. And a save. Wonderful wrist shot. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. I thought the second save was better. Let's it go. A textbook stick save. He moves that one ahead through center. Oh, snaps the shot. Pad save. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. Vancouver's fans sitting behind their net got up and showed their respect by bowing to him after that huge save. Markstrom's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. Moving it to Henrique. Up to the point. Got in the way of that one. Gets that one on across. Wonderful save. Play stopped. That puck is just held. The Canucks bench really got excited when they saw their goaltender make that amazing stop. Just over three minutes to go in the period. The lead becomes bigger. It's now four goals. Good grab again. A little pass from his goalie here. The Canucks on the move through center. Leads that charge into the zone. Shot. Great save at the edge of the crease. That was a tougher stop than a look. Anaheim's got a defensive zone win. The Ducks skated up on the side. And he steps in. In front. They score. How quickly did that change? A very fast shift in power. There's the old adage, get it to the net. You never know what can happen. Because he doesn't hit it solidly, the goalie is fooled on it. <laughs> 
And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Twist one. Terrific save. And by number 10, Corey Perry. Time of the goal. And he dumps it in. Pitching it to Pearson. Skates it into the zone. Shoots it on. Pull the trigger wide. Cranks a blast. Score! Late in the period. Couldn't get much later for that one. Uh, they were pretty excited on the bench. They've scored this last-minute goal. Now they have all kinds of momentum to carry them through the intermission. And so they can start the next period on the front foot. Canucks score. Scored by number 77. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. As is our custom, we look now at the shots on goal. Wow, does anybody play defense here? 24 for Anaheim and 18 for Vancouver. During the game, please remember Anaheim's goaltender has had one of those nights. And so this score is lopsided. And we will return after he gets a rest and these words. So please stay alert at all times when the game is in play. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Canucks have had their way the first 40 minutes of play pretty much in every category possible, most importantly with this real comfortable lead. Do they sit on it or look to add to it here in the third? And they've got it again. The Ducks move to center ice. Strong play there by Edler. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Thinking attack here. He's got it. Propelled to Getzlaff. Feeds the point. Quick wrist shot. Punched away. Vancouver's winging it at neutral ice. Through the corner now. Oh, broke it up. Directing that one to Getzlaff. Trying to go to Silverberg. Can make a play from the corner. One-timer. Score! What a beautiful pass to set up this one-timer. Well, oh, he had enough time to walk into this, and he absolutely pounds this. Goalie doesn't have a chance. Just a little over four minutes have passed. The Ducks have just scored, but the deficit is still three. Anaheim goal, scored by number 60. Springs it ahead to Raquel. Assisted and by number 33, Jakob Silverberg, and by number 50, Ryan Getzlaff. Smart recovery by Fowler. Four minutes, 16 seconds. Gathered up by Shore. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. Pedersen's cut through the neutral zone. Out in front. That's a good defensive stick there. And now it's directed to Fowler. Pass attempt to Raquel. Shoots. Great opportunity denied. Fires. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Did what he's paid to do. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid takes away the bottom of the net.
Good job on the draw. Puck loose now picked up. The Canucks with control at center ice. Cranks a shot. Save. Right up the side. Gives it over to the point. Oh, great cut. Can start the attack going in the zone. And he picks it up. Anaheim's marching on halfway up the ring. Let's it go. Just missed the net. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Shoots one. Score! Great luck for the scoring team. Bad luck for the defense. That doesn't even have to touch the back of the net to be a goal. The goalie thought he had that. However, it trickled right by him into the net. The Ducks have gotten this game back to a two-goal deficit for them. There's still time here in the third. Let's see what happens next. Ducks Neutral zone face-off one. Possession established here. Intercepted by Roussel. Fires. Shot didn't have a lot on it, did he? Slid to Getzlaff. He gains the zone. In the slot. And the players collide in open ice. If you can catch some... They score! It's only a one-goal game now. Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. He doesn't even move. Once he drops into the butterfly, you're certain he's got the net covered. He just doesn't. The Ducks are now back to within one with the scoring of that goal. And there's plenty of time for one more goal in the third. Anaheim's got that puck off the tie-up. It's dumped in. Josh Vancouver's in their own end and in control of the puck. Is able to move on in. And it's a good pickup. Anaheim setting it up as they move through center. Using the point. Drives it. Great glove save. The Ducks have really mounted an impressive comeback here as they fell deep into a hole early in the game. I'm not sure how many people felt this comeback could be possible. I might have been one of those people. Too wide. Brings it in for an attack. Let's it go. Great save. Laid up that right side to Pedersen. Good defensive play. Hand to eye and center ice. Flings it. Grab. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. A lot of pressure on that faceoff. They've won. Now let's see what they deliver. Shoots one. Great save. Vancouver's carrying it up the wing. In all alone. Swept aside. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Horvath's lost another one. The Ducks through the neutral zone have it. With a shot. Waffle boarded. Couldn't get through and retain possession. And still another save. What a show. Gathered up again by Getzlaff. 
A shot. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. Well, I think that missed opportunity seals the fate in this game. I don't think they're coming back after that missed opportunity. Fires a shot. Made that stop. This play will stay inside the offensive zone. The goaltender got a piece of that last shot. One of their best players. It doesn't matter how many chances that they've had against him. He's kept them in the lead because his play has been exceptional. This next faceoff is the largest one this game has seen. Their backs to the wall and they won a big draw. He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. Bessers headed to neutral ice. The Canucks are looking to make a play out of their own zone. Looking to Besser. Net open and off target with that one. Laid on to Raquel. Let's it go. Those big pillows on his legs came in handy then. The Canucks lug the puck in their own end. Net open. No luck. That one goes on the money to the left. A shot. Just got it at the last moment. There's the horn and the hockey game, and a thrilling one it was. The Canucks have hung on. They have hung on and gotten the win. It counts, but... They stopped playing with the big lead that they had at the start of the third period and get lucky and hold on for a win. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.